Guys, no bullshit. This is the legit stuff that you need. You don't need anything else. There's no black cat shit or anything that you need to succeed. This is everything you need. There is no such thing as a black hat TikTok ad strategy. Stop falling for this bullshit. There is no secret strategies that somebody's hiding from you. These gurus just want to make money off of you. Don't fall for it, guys. TikTok ads is just the same platform as anything else. There's no secret. There's no secret formula to running this advertising platform. Stop spending your money on joining those discords, guys. They do not bring you any value and they lie to you and they want to keep you the longer than possible because they want to make money off of you. That's why they ask you to pay monthly. TikTok advertising platform is just like any other advertising platform. And all you need to know the data points and how to properly use your data to optimize it and scale it. There's no secret formula guys i'm gonna say it again i just said it four times and i'm gonna say it one more time there's no secret formula to write a tiktok ad and thankfully to you you stumbled upon this video where i'm going to show you on how to step by step make money on tiktok advertising platform guys you're welcome just make sure you go down and you hit the subscribe button what's going on guys welcome back to the fastest growing finance channel on youtube if you are new here make sure you go down and you hit the subscribe button also like this video and comment because you're going to find this video very very valuable i have a lot of energy in this video and i'm very very mad because people keep talking about this black hat secret strategies that don't even exist and they're getting caught with it and they're spending their money and they're getting nothing in return so today because i'm so nice i'm going to show you on how to actually make money on tiktok advertising as i've said before tiktok advertising platform is just like any other advertising platform you need to know the basics and you need to know how to optimize your data and scale it properly if you mess up on your beginning steps and you have trouble optimizing your data you will have trouble scaling and you'll not make the money that you want to guys enough of talking let's dive right into the techniques let's dive into the blueprint and i'll show you how to do everything step by step because i'm just such a nice guy you are welcome guys this is the blueprint you're going to need to succeed no matter what you're doing if you have a brand or you're doing drop shipping this is the exact blueprint step by step you're going to need to succeed with your sales it will make a shitload of sales if you follow everything step by step first thing we're going to do is daily organic videos we're going to start by posting organic videos on your tiktok profile Aim to publish a minimum of one video per day, guys. This is how we're going to test our creatives without spending a single dollar on seeing what works and what doesn't work. Matter of fact, it's possible to blow up a Shopify store with just organic advertising. It all depends on how hard you want to work on it. You don't have to spend a single dollar and blow up a store. That's just facts. You can make one TikTok and it can go viral with one product and it's possible. I've seen it before. People have done it. I've seen it. It's not impossible. What we're going to do is we're going to keep monitoring engagement. Keep a close eye out on the performance of these videos. Pay attention to views and likes because that's how we're going to determine the best performing creative. And then we're going to launch it into our campaign. Increasing frequency. If any video gains momentum with positive engagement, views and likes, consider increasing your posting frequency. Aim for two to three videos per day. This phase should last about a week. So in this phase, you should be posting organic videos. You're not spending any money on the advertisements yet. You're posting organic videos. And then we're going to take our best creative and we're going to launch it into a Spark ad into our campaign. Guys, we're only going to be running Spark ads for this campaign. So make sure you're following along and make sure you're paying attention to this video. Also, make sure you watch this video till the end to understand how this properly is all connected so that you can succeed with your sales. Again, TikTok ads principle. Keep in mind, TikTok ads principle. Don't create ads, create TikToks. Guys, number one way to succeed on TikTok is not by creating ads, but by creating TikToks. Every platform needs a different and creative square ads are now going to work on TikTok. So make sure you're creating engaging TikToks. Then we're going to test it to see what's the best creative. And then we're going to use it for our Spark ads. And we're going to launch campaigns. And then we're going to optimize our data. And then we're going to scale. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So, so far we're posting in phase one, we're posting organic videos to determine our winner without spending a dollar. We're going to do that for a week. And if we see momentum, we're going to keep increasing our posting frequency. As a matter of fact, it might even take off and you're not even going to spend a single dollar on advertising, but that's like one in a million chance because that's like winning the lottery. But this is the best way to determine the winner of your creative. So keep making TikToks with your product, guys. It's very important. It all depends on how far you want to take your product. If you're putting in effort, you're going to take your product very far. And if you're being creative, that will also pay off in the end. So make sure you're putting all your effort towards the product. Moving on to utilizing top performing TikTok. Identify the best performing TikTok video from your profile. Use this top performing video as an ad for your TikTok advertising 
advertising campaign guys it's all this is all very simple i'm speaking english guys this is very this is the plainest and the simplest way to explain it it's not going to get any harder than this i've always said this running ads is the easiest part the hardest part will always be setting up the back curtain of your shopify store and the landing page and the funnel that's always the hardest part the easiest part is running the ads and collecting what you deserve for putting your hard work in but obviously if you don't put the work in you're not going to get any results so it's up to you to make your own success happen selecting a reliable tiktok choose a tiktok video that consistently performs well and shows no signs of losing popularity it's very important to pick out a good tiktok that's performing well on the tiktok advertising platform that's your best performing winning creative and we're going to take it and use it as a spark ad let's get to the good stuff now how are we going to set up our campaigns guys we're going to run a cbo campaign depending on your budget from 50 dollars to 100 dollars all spark ads this is very important cbo campaign with five ad sets so cbo five ad sets three ads your best performing ad is going to be those three ads because we want to reach a bigger audience basically we're taking it from organic and we're starting a little bit we started to scale step by step and then once we make conversions from a paid advertising this is when we take it to the moon it's very very simple stuff guys just make sure you need to connect all the parts together so this is the campaign we're going to be running ad group number one broad no interest we're going to leave it broad ad group number two broad again no interest ad group number three one interest for example fitness if you're running a fitness product whatever category your product fits in then pick that interest ad group number four we're going to do a hashtag example home decor if you're running a home decor store that's the hashtag you're going to use get creative with the hashtag see what's trending if the hashtag is trending use that hashtag because the more trend it is on the hashtag the more people you're going to reach the more right people you're going to reach at group number five hashtag example beauty again if it's a beauty product then just use beauty or whatever just get creative with it guys the more creative you get with it the more sales you're going to walk away with and the more you set yourself up for success guys the point of this campaign is to optimize our data the more sales we can get the more scaling we're going to get done and the more conversions we're going to get we're not going to be making sales every hour of the day guys you have to understand that this is a process and don't freak out when you start running ads because you're not getting results right away it's a process you have to make sure you're keeping an eye out on your kpi metrics and you're following everything to the script the whole point of this campaign is to see if it's working if our funnel is working if our product is selling because if it's selling we need to reach a bigger audience guys All right, now let it run for two to three days duplicate any profitable ad group into a new campaign five times so basically what we're going to do if we have winning ad sets that are making sales we're going to duplicate them into a new cbo campaign with a higher budget and we're going to let them run if it's successful we're going to start a scale which we're going to get into uh in the next phase and then we're going to move on so ctr cpc cpm follow these metrics right here this is what you want to run at when you're running this campaign so make sure you pay attention to that strategic timing to make the most of your advertising budget schedule your ads to launch at midnight this timing is recommended for optimizing ad performance throughout the entire day guys very very important to run your ads at midnight of whatever day you want to launch them at because that's how tiktok prepares our budget and it splits our budget into delivering the right creatives for the right people well not creatives it's basically it's all about your performance if you get what i'm saying phase two scaling tiktok advertising guys replicating success this is what i'm talking about we just need to reach a bigger audience identify a successful combination of creative content and target audience replicate this combination five times into a fresh cbo campaign allocate a higher budget to these replicated campaigns so say we have the first campaign that we're running we have uh, winning sales, winning ad set. We take that ad set, we duplicate it five times into a new campaign at about $100. So if we're running it at 50, we duplicate it to a $100 campaign. And then if it starts to do well, we're increasing the, the budget of that campaign. Guys, monitor and performance. Closely monitor the performance of your CBO campaigns after a full day or half a day, depending on your spending level, deactivate any unprofitable ad groups within the CBO. Track your KPIs, very important. Take a look at your KPIs, make sure everything is stable because we don't wanna burn through our budget and we don't wanna keep the assets that are just not performing well. And then we're going to expand, continuously create new CBOs on daily basis to expand horizontally. Be aware that performance may start to decline after a few days if your ad is not engaging. Make sure, this is what happens to a lot of people, your ad is not engaging and then you're not making any sales guys that's how we expand we're reaching a bigger audience which means more sales for us 
we're expanding, we're reaching more people. Implement a strategy of deactivating underperforming ad groups to maintain consistent performance. Consider increasing budgets by 20 to 40%, which is our vertical scaling if performance remains strong. Guys, if it's performing, we need to increase the budget because we want more people, we want more sales. So by giving them more budget to an optimized campaign, it's gonna bring us more sales. Guys, think of how this works. This is this is pure gold. We can have like up to 10 CBOs. Imagine all those CBOs are performing well and we're increasing the budgets. All we're doing is scaling. In phase one, we're posting organic videos to find our winner, then we're launching it with Spark Ads, and then we're just scaling because we've optimized our performance. And now all we have to do is deliver that optimized performance, a budget, so it can reach the conversions that we need it to. Guys, no bullshit. This is the legit stuff that you need. You don't need anything else. There's no black hat shit or anything that you need to succeed. This is everything you need. Now I'm gonna show you on how to set up your campaign and then all you have to do is just start running it and make sure everything is prepared all right guys one final step that's left for us to do is to set up our campaign i'm going to show you how to set it up i'm not going to do all the duplicating stuff you can do that yourself but i'm going to show you how to set up the ad set and how who to target and how to set everything up and then you can do the duplication of the ad set remember five ad sets in one campaign and the cbo campaign simple stuff i just don't want to waste my time duplicating all these ad sets when you can do it yourself so Custom mode, we're gonna be running custom mode. What we're going to do is we're going to do website conversions. We're gonna name this campaign. Again, always name your campaigns so that you know what you're running. So if we're doing our first campaign, say first CBO, I don't know, just make sure you know what you're running so that when you look, when you have 10 CBOs, make sure you know which one is which. Uh, set up campaign budget, CBO right here. We're going to run CBO campaign, depending on your budget. If you have a higher budget, I would recommend starting hundred bucks because we're gonna optimize our data faster. But if we have a smaller budget, we're going to start off with $50. So we move on to next. Make sure your pixel is connected and everything is all set, guys. Pixel is very important for optimizing your data. Don't listen to anybody. Optimization event, where we're going to run is complete payment. And then we're going to do select placement and we're gonna run TikTok. We're gonna undo global app bundle and we're gonna undo Pango. Select target audience, United States. The most profitable consumer market in the world is the United States. Gender is common sense, whatever your product is for. If it's universal, obviously all. If it's for male or female, then obviously pick it. We're gonna do 1824 and all the way up. Spending power, we don't mess with any of this stuff. Again, when we duplicate our ad set, make sure you add your interest right here and then your hashtag. So this one is gonna be broad. So we have two broad ad sets and then two with hashtag and one with interest. So make sure you add it. This one is broad, so I'm not gonna do it. But when you duplicate it, make sure you don't forget to change the interest to the interest or the hashtag. Again, the rest of the stuff we don't really mess with. Set up your uh, schedule to run at 12 o'clock the next day, guys. Very, very important, 12 o'clock. So zero, 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 zero right here. Boom, okay. Just make sure you change the date because I changed it to yesterday. So 27. Optimization goal conversion, obviously that's what we wanna optimize for and then we hit next. That's how you set up the backbone of your campaign. Here's all the basic stuff, guys. Make sure you do this. Use TikTok account to deliver Spark ads. Make sure you link your TikTok account because that's we're gonna pick our best performing TikTok and we're going to run it. So link your account, um, run it, add it. Smart creative ads, we don't mess with any of that stuff. Uh, text is gonna be already added because it's from your TikTok. So when you post your TikToks, make sure you write the text, like the copy. So make sure you don't don't just leave it blank. Call to action, what we're going to do here is we're going to edit and we're gonna do standard and we're gonna pick shop now. This is very important because it's gonna give us different variations of the button and we don't want that. And then fill out your URL, product page, whatever you want it to land, and then that's it. This is how you set up your campaign, guys. Very, very simple stuff, very, very powerful stuff. Make sure you're following step by step. Stick to the script, stick to the data, stick to the consistency, and you will be successful, guys. This is not your average guru bullshit where you have to join the Discord. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of valuable content. If you did, like this, subscribe, and hit the like button. I already said hit the like button, but make sure you comment, like this, and subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.